you hear the stories about the evil in the world that exists. There's no way you can't. I mean, every time I unlock my phone or turn on the TV, I'm hit with news that uh, somebody's dying, people hurting other people, people hurting themselves, and it can get overwhelming, I understand. I remember times where I would just turn my phone off, you know, because having that thing attached to your hand, you know, it, it could depress you real quick. I thought I knew what depression was, seeing that sad shit on your screen. It's a totally different feeling when you're actually experiencing it. I never thought in a million years that the things that I witnessed on social media would or even could happen to me. And if I'm being honest, I feel like my life is at a standstill right now. He was my best friend. We were inseparable. Uh, I mean, I've been knowing him since the first grade. Had a lot of classes together, so, you know, we ended up studying a lot together, you know? And as they say, you know, sometimes you grow apart from your friends. You know, I'm thinking like, I wonder when that day gonna happen, but it never did. We even graduated high school and college together. You know, we would compete for those top seats. Never got them though, just pipe dreams. It, it was three days after graduation. Uh, we were planning a trip out of town uh, with some friends to celebrate, you know, finally being free, you know? And you see, he never had the chance to actually go out of town. So this would be his first time. He couldn't stop talking about it. And honestly, I was getting annoyed, but deep down, I couldn't really do nothing but be happy for him and be excited for him. Because, because I knew we were gonna kick it, you know? We hopped in the car that night to go to the store to get some last minute items. And it's still a blur to me. You know, he was driving, music loud. And you know, we were just, you know, enjoying ourselves. We were just having fun, you know? And a few seconds later, I look up and I hear sirens behind me. And uh, my friend pulls over to the side of the street. And I'm thinking we weren't doing anything wrong, you know? I thought we were being stopped because, uh, because of the loud music, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe he'll write us a citation and, you know, give us a warning and, and you know, we'll pull off. I, it's hard. The, uh, the two police officers got out of the car. Uh, one on, was on each side of the car and license and registration, I heard one of them say. And I was looking at the officer near my side of the car. Um, but he was looking at the officer on my friend's side of the car. So it was just strange to me, like, like, like he knew. I heard my friend say, what you stop us for? He was mad about it, I could hear it, I could feel it. But I felt my friend's hand go for the armrest. And what I wanted, the officer on my side, his eyes wide. I couldn't even, I couldn't even turn around before that sound. Blood on his face. My friend slumped over. It all felt like a nightmare to me. All I hear is, don't move, don't move. Yeah, I just remember throwing my hands up. But I don't remember much else from that night. I see his face when I go to sleep now. Every night, lifeless. Suck the joy from his face. They killed my friend. They 
for what? We we didn't we didn't do anything. Like, like what the fuck? Like we didn't do anything.